Media Molecule's dreams deserves way more recognition than is currently being given. I'll go so far as to argue that PlayStation should have either put it free for PlayStation Plus during the PS5's launch, or have dreams pre-installed on every PS5. I know, that's not an unpopular opinion. However, I think it's time we give Dreams the recognition that it deserves. So by now, you might be asking, what is Dreams? But a better question is, what isn't Dreams? Because the possibilities are almost endless. You can either play a large catalog of experiences called Dreams that were designed by Media Molecule and the community surrounding this game, or you can design and create something of your own to play and share with the community. There is game creation, music creation, sculpting, painting, and more. These are the things you can do within Dreams. That's right, Dreams is a game that not only contains a campaign showcasing the power of its engine, but it also allows you to create games or any game element within it too. There's even helpful tutorial classes within Dreams to get you started, which you can pause or rewind at any time. What's also nice is that the game allows you to take any existing dream that has already been made and remix it if the creator enables that option. This means that you can take an already fully created and fully functioning dream and make changes to see how certain functions in it work. It's an intuitive way to allow you to see how other people are doing things you wish you knew how to do yourself. To add to all of this, the game has frequent community-based challenges called jams that you could partake in and potentially get noticed by other community members. And if you don't want to partake in those challenges, you always have new dreams to check out. So no matter what, there's always a reason to come back to dreams. There's always something new to do, and there's always something for you to look forward to as a creator too. Dreams isn't just a game, it's an experience. Yes, it's a game, but it's a game development engine, it's a community, it's a creative outlet, and more importantly, it might be a one-of-its-kind type of game. There's a level of warmth that comes with Dreams, and that's due to the fact that it's so easy to find enjoyment out of it. Is it easy to make things on Dreams? Not necessarily, but that's okay. You're not forced to do any type of creation on Dreams. Creating things on Dreams is actually encouraged. Like, it's heavily encouraged. From the community members who stream Dreams, to Media Molecule themselves who check out creations made by the Dreams community on Twitch, it's not like the community is just making things that don't get the attention they deserve. In fact, they've even had two yearly digital award shows called The Impies, where they reward creators for their creations and impact on the community as well. So yes, there is a potential award for you if you end up making an outstanding creation, but even if you don't get nominated for an award or anything like that, people can still give your creation a like. It's almost like Death Stranding, where there was a social liking system and people could reward you for making something they genuinely enjoyed or never knew they needed. Creativity is key when it comes to dreams. It's a game that's gonna bring out your sense of wonder, especially if you want to create things. You might not want to make a huge level, but you might want to make a couple of songs, character models, assets, or even learn animation. Even just through playing other creations, you'll find yourself thinking of various ways people could have done something better for their creation, or an idea might even come to you for your own potential dream. I'm even saying this as someone who legitimately had these moments happen to them and wanted to dive into creating things but didn't have the time to do so. However, what I had time to do was use Dreams to help visualize college projects. Dreams released right around my last semester of college, which happened to be the same time I was taking a game development course. Using Dreams, I managed to figure out what I wanted to do for various game projects and actually managed to come up with concepts for my game projects. Dreams, believe it or not, was perfect for me during the time I took the course, and it actually might be perfect for those who are slightly interested in getting a career in game development. It's almost crazy to think that we have this perfectly accessible game development engine right at the palm of our hands. Let's say creation is not your thing. Cool, I get it. I myself don't even think I'm that creative to go out there and try to understand the various gadgets or tools needed to make dreams. I can relate to that genuinely. Despite not having that motivation to create dreams, there are still ways for you to enjoy the game. In example, Dreams has a campaign that's titled Arch Dream. In Art's dream, you follow Art, who happens to be a bass player that ends up leaving his band due to his fears and doubts. 
Throughout this small campaign, you play through several various types of levels from platforming to puzzle solving and more. You get to see inside of Art's mind through his dreams and you're shown the actual potential of dreams itself. The questions you might be wondering are, how is this showing the power of dreams? And what makes Arch Dream interesting enough to play through? Well, the entirety of Arch Dream was created and developed within dreams. From the beginning to the end, every single moment you're playing throughout this campaign, it was all made within the dreams engine. Media Molecule themselves developed it, and it gives you a pretty damn good idea as to what you can expect from someone that might genuinely have the ability to make high quality dreams. In fact, I loved our stream. From time to time, I still listen to the absolutely amazing cover towards the very end of the campaign called Time Moves Slow. Trust me, it slaps on a rainy day. Would I have loved for our stream to be longer? Absolutely. Hell, I'd love if they expanded on it or kept adding mini campaign or standalone stories, even if it was just small one hour campaigns. The potential for something like that would be incredible, especially because they can actually create these standalone stories that don't necessarily need to have any continuity. Plus, it would also keep giving people who may not feel like they're creative enough to make dreams themselves a reason to come back and boot up dreams on their PS4 or PS5 on a random day. Dreams fits that mold. Dreams can be that game where you pick it up and spend an hour or three hours on it just surfing through different creations and seeing what people are up to while you want to kill time or don't feel like playing that bigger budget title. Outside of Arch Dream. You still have hours upon hours of content to surf through, whether it's musical creations, actual game demos, or more complicated games, Dreams is more than just Arch Dream. You're not solely there for Arch Dream only, you're there for more than that. Each and every day, there's something new there for you to try out on the Dreams platform. And if you don't want to go on Dreams every day, you can go check out when community based challenges are done. By that point, tons of creators have submitted theme projects for those jams and you can see those recently completed products. There's already been a ton of community jams since Dreams has launched. To add to that, there are also various playlists, Dreams created specifically by Media Molecule or what the latest dreams are, or even some of the better dreams created on the platform thus far. There's so many things for you to enjoy outside of our stream for those that may not see themselves as creative. Hell, there's even an Avatar The Last Airbender game on Dreams, and if that isn't dope enough for you, I don't know what is. Going back to the creative side of things, honestly, the tutorials are friendly. Being able to pause, rewind, and listen to tutorials while also seeing these things being taught to you visually really helps. It doesn't just leave you there to be confused or lose track of what you're meant to do. Normally, when a game holds your hand too much, it grows to become obnoxious. You get to the point where you're sort of like, yeah, no, I know what to do, shut up, tutorial. When it comes to dreams, you want your hand held because you're trying to learn as much as possible through the multi-step tutorial teaching you things. You want as much information as possible so you can understand even the base level concept of each tutorial. The problem I have with these tutorials though is that it doesn't feel like there are enough of them. On one hand, I do absolutely understand that the whole point of dreams is to figure out things as you go so it becomes a fun experience over time. On the other hand, it's almost a bit frustrating that there aren't more tutorials to make the creation experience more beginner friendly. Sure, you can remix things, but even then, you're kind of just going through the various options of gadgets and being like, huh, what does this do? In my case, doing things like that doesn't necessarily register information in my brain for me to remember. I know this problem is going to be different depending on a person by person case, but for me, it kind of bothers me. There should be more tutorials because the more information, the better. This problem could easily be avoided, I guess, by sending your dreams to someone else and having them remix it, solve your problem, and then sending it back. However, there are way too many steps when it comes to doing that. If they can simplify that or allow people to share a dream creation session by sending invites and having a private lobby, it'd be much easier for someone to get their problem solved and also learn at the same time. Or you could just go on YouTube and search up dreams tutorials videos, that works too. With all that being said, why should you be playing dreams on your PS4 or PS5? Dreams is a beautiful experience that can absolutely be better, but you should still experience it for yourself.
Yes, creating things on dreams can be complicated and be overwhelming for someone who's just starting. I'll even admit, it was absolutely overwhelming for me when I used to stream it on Twitch during its alpha and beta phases. Despite that though, no matter how many times I had to redo the tutorial because I might have forgotten how to edit a cutscene, edit the lighting of scenery I made, or something simple like making a switch work, I always had a smile on my face. The curiosity that continuously leads to figuring out how to make something work, whether it's through finding a tutorial on YouTube or watching a streamer make something on Dreams, the reward almost always puts a smile on your face. Dreams is absolutely a good time, and honestly, it's sort of crazy that PlayStation hasn't done a better job at pushing Dreams across social media to get more people to try it. Dreams is the perfect game for people who are looking for small experiences, let alone for those who might be interested in trying to experiment with a game developer engine if they don't have a PC to try something out like Unity. It's affordable, it's enjoyable, and honestly, more people should be playing Dreams because it deserves the attention. Whether you want to learn how to make small games, try to make music, sculpt or make shorts on Dreams, there's always something there for you to do. It might be complicated to fully dive into Dreams and get the most out of it at first, and that's perfectly understandable. However, the enjoyment you get out of Dreams highly outweighs the difficulty of trying to create things or find ways to become creative on such a massive game. As I said above, there is game creation, music creation, sculpting, painting, and more. These are the things you can do within Dreams. And even if you're not creative, there's a ton of small experiences available right now for you to play at the palm of your hands. This is why you need to play Media Molecules Dreams on your PS4 or PS5. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you really enjoyed this video, hit that sub button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, write a comment down below. Don't forget to keep it real with peace, love, and positivity.